Yeah, after. Yeah, after. Yes. Yeah, after. Uh, once again, thank you so much for coming to Taiwan Night! Oh! On behalf of Taiwan, Taiwan government, I would like to thank my mom. No, I would like to thank <laughs> Taiwan government and also our lovely three people traveling all the way 18 hours to here. They are great friends, new friends. So today, it's all about learning and connecting with our friends from Taiwan. We have two VIP and also we have the Deputy Ambassador of South Africa here today from Taiwan. So why don't I first kindly ask Karen, our lovely legislator, which is the equivalent of Congress lady. She's very young and energetic and all the Taiwan strong ecosystem. <laughs> Luckily, we have her. Because not only she's doing deregulation policy, she also recently built cross-party platforms so where different interest groups can talk and work together. So maybe we'll ask Karen on behalf of Taiwan with lovely Taiwan flag <laughs> to say greeting to everybody. Yeah. Woo! 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 Thank you everyone for coming Taiwan Night. I'm really uh, honored to be here and join you in this event. Johannesburg. And as you know, um, maybe you don't know, <laughs> before I became the legislator, actually I was an entrepreneur and I established a social enterprise in Taiwan. And uh, it is about eight years ago. And so through eight years, I know that uh, our startup ecosystem is very important. So that's why becoming the legislator, I try to improve the ecosystem for our startups. And the first thing and the most challenging thing uh, for our staff in Taiwan is about the regulation. Because our, for example, like take the company law for example. Our company law is established in around 19, 1905, you know, <laughs> almost 100 years ago. So it's very difficult for small and the startup to uh, like people's attention and the, the legal structure is very difficult for them to, to move forward. So that's why as a legislator, the first thing is for me is to deregulate for startups. For example, recently I uh, initiated uh, sand, uh, sandbox. Have you ever heard sandbox? For fintech industry mm. in Taiwan. And um, if there is no, uh, it's nothing uh, unexpected, the regulation will be passed in this mm. Yeah, so. Well, 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 well. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, okay. You want to yeah. say more? No, I just, I was <laughs> done, I was done. I can say a lot. So I'm, I'm really excited to be here and enjoying with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kara. Yeah. And also, if you want to learn more about Taiwan Startup Visa, we have pamphlets on the table. There's QR codes you can scan on. And also, good news: if you sign up on the registration for the first 15, if you see your name, there's a little star. You can pick up your pineapple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> also, because we know all the Jane delegates, the Jane country MT are very busy, so we have special gift from you. Ooh. And also from for Jonathan, longtime supporter. Well, every time we're going to say this, I'm going to have a lot of tears. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> we have special tea sets that we have prepared for you, for bouquet, for Peter. That we're going to hand it to you. All right, so we're going to ask the, our deputy ambassador, where are you, to say a yeah. few words, a few words. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to <coughs> South Africa. And on behalf of Taiwan government, I also welcome your joining us in Taiwan night, tonight here. Uh, if we can I'm the embassy of uh, in Taiwan uh, in South Africa. So if we can be of assistance to you, if you are visiting to Taiwan, you're welcome to come to my office uh, in Pretoria. Uh, we have another two colleagues here. Uh, Ms. Liang is the Councilor Economic Attaché. And another one is Miss Audrey Wang. She's, she's my other colleague. So, welcome everybody and please enjoy tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. David. David. All right, so now we're going to open 
Uh, let's grab some food and we will regroup in one minute. How's that? And we're going to let David to share everybody about the Asia Silicon Valley Project.